briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. From 2004 to 2007, Fremont Investment and Loan, along with its parent company, Fremont General Corporation, were accused of originating and servicing subprime mortgage loans in a deceptive and unfair manner, a case which ended before the Massachusetts Supreme Judicial Court. The judge, initially presiding, identified that Fremont had committed wrongful acts involving originating home mortgage loans proven to facilitate the borrower's default and eventual foreclosure. These mortgages encompassed four specific characteristics, almost guaranteeing these tragic outcomes for the homeowners. Despite Fremont's appeal in which they claimed they were unaware of the unfairness of their practices, the court struck down their argument, solidifying the judge's previous ruling. The court clarified that regardless of federal and state regulation, lending institutions like Fremont had been warned about the possibility of their policies constituting unfair and deceptive acts under consumer protection law. Furthermore, the court expressed concern over Fremont's disregard for assessing the borrower's ability to make payments, noting that these loans relied on excessively optimistic projections. This negligent behavior from Fremont led to a consent agreement with the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, reflecting the flawed guidelines provided within the mortgage lending industry. Despite Fremont's appeals, a preliminary injunction was granted, compelling Fremont to alert the Attorney General before foreclosing on any mortgage loans. As an additional measure, Fremont was mandated to seek court approval for foreclosing on any presumptively unfair loans. However, this injunction did not exempt borrowers from the obligation of proving the unfairness of the loan and making the necessary repayments. Upholding the appeals court's order, the case was remanded back to the lower court for further examination, keeping in place the requirement for Fremont to explore alternatives to foreclosure, asserting that it struck a balance between borrowers' rights and Fremont's interests. Ultimately, this pivotal case serves as a stern reminder of the obligation lenders owe to their borrowers, a balance of fairness, and comprehensive assessment of their ability to make repayments. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.